Melissa and Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. There you go. Wow, Joe, nice try with the uh, Vegas buffet, but these kids don't really eat waffles. No, these are amazing. Well, you never liked waffles before. These aren't yours. <laughs> yeah, there's no ice crystals, and you don't have to pry them apart. And there's no wax paper. All right, stop. <laughs> See, you're just trying to show me up with the kids, but come on. You and I both know oh, there's nothing special about these. Oh, my mother of pearl. <laughs> oh, these are, these are unbelievable. I've had better. All right, fine. You can just have a cold English muffin, then. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm actually just going to take a few of these to the office because, um, yeah, I think there's some people there that might like them. I don't like them, but... All right, well, here, well, don't forget the bourbon pecan maple syrup, then. Enjoy. Um. <laughs> I guess you're stuck with me. Awful deal. <laughs> Seriously, awful deal. But it says if I buy one, I get the second one free. Oh, sure, it's not a bad deal if you want to fill up your pool with salsa. <laughs> but see, all they do is they just double the price of the first jar, and then they toss the second one in for free. <laughs> in the real world, all you need is this little jar they put way up here, which is, um, well, look at that, much cheaper. Wow, you're like a shopping superhero. I am. I am super market man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ashley. Joe Longo. It's my secret identity. Mm. So, when you're not saving helpless shoppers, do you ever have coffee? You know, lately I've been trying to cut back because coffee actually dehydrates me, so I... Oh! <laughs> you mean... You mean have coffee? Wow. Um, to be honest with you, I just separated from my wife, and I'm not sure if I'm at the have coffee stage yet. <laughs> I have a slight bitter aftertaste from the last cup. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Listen... I'm a web designer, so my days are pretty flexible, and just let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. <clears throat> I'm actually free right now until I have to go pick up the kids. A devoted single father. I like that. No, no, I'm not a father. I'm, um, actually, I'm a nanny. <laughs> and a sense of humor. I like that, too. <laughs> Seriously, I'm a nanny. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, great. Work emergency. One of my websites just caught on fire. Yeah, today's no good for me either. My hair appointment's today with your stylist. Do I tell him to make me look like Taylor Swift from March or Taylor Swift from April? They could do that to your face. <laughs> you see this, Ryder? It's a hot girl. And this is as close as you'll ever get to one. I'm good with that. Morning. 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 Oh, this is not a tasty waffle. Yeah, I'm not really in a tasty waffle mood. I am. What the hell happened to breakfast? I mean, uh, what happened to you? All right, I was at the market, ran into this really cute girl. We started talking, totally hit it off, right? Until I told her that I was a nanny. And she ran out of there so quick, she left a hot girl-shaped hole in the side of the store. Joe, that really sucks. But the important thing is, you remembered to get the pudding, right? Look, that was just one shallow woman, okay? There are bound to be lots of women who'll be attracted to you. Not me, God, no, but somebody. Thank you, Burke. I'm all better now. But there are billions of women out there, okay? The math is totally on your side. Oh, great. So math is my wingman. No, look, I'm fine. I'm going to do something later this afternoon that's going to cheer me up anyway. So. Oh, really? What? My uh, divorce hearing. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to go pick out a tie to go with losing my shirt. <laughs> Ow. You really think a woman's going to want anything to do with a nanny? No. But I want my Belgian waffles back, and I'm not going to get some until he gets some. Thing. <laughs> something. I... <laughs> that was so close to being awkward. <laughs> Zoning hearing was pushed to tomorrow, and last and most importantly on the agenda this morning, muffins. Oh, I don't think I can. I had waffles yesterday. You had carbs without me? <laughs> Joe made syrup with bourbon, pecans, and cinnamon. It was like 
Christmas in my mouth. Mel Burr? Liz Castaldo? Oh, I thought I would find you in this building. Oh my gosh, Rhonda, this is Liz. She was my sorority little sister. You were in a sorority? Ra, ra, by gamma, gamma, gamma. I'm so glad that is what I am. -a. Loyalty, honesty, don't forget the glamour. We party so hard. Sometimes we end up in the slammer. Never open a book. But we still pass our exam. -a. Try gamma. Yo, yo, try gamma. Yo, yo, suck it. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was mainly a um, community service organization. Oh, holy cow. Ooh. It's nothing, just some transit strikes, riot thingy. I'll get the lowdown. You sisters keep rapping. I. So, um, what are you doing here? I have a job interview at the mayor's office. God, back in college, did you ever think either of us would be walking the halls of power? Maybe in handcuffs. Hey, hope I'm not interrupting anything. I was a little early for my hearing next door, so I thought I'd stop by and say hi. Oh, you sure you're not just here to use our incredibly clean bathrooms? What? No. He's not on Rhonda's desk. What's up with that? Oh, Liz, this is Joe Longo. Joe, this is my old friend Liz Castaldo. Pleasure. Same here. Uh, Liz is here to interview with the mayor. Yeah, I am in that sexy world of municipal accounting. What do you do? Me? Uh, well, actually, I used to be a uh, commodities trader. But, mm -hmm. um, well, actually, now, to be honest with you, I am, uh, <laughs> I'm working... Freelance! A freelance uh, financial consultant. That's it. Yeah, and he dresses this well all the time. Can you just hang on one second, no, please? No, 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 you Actually, don't have a second. You've got to get you, back to work. What are you doing? Go, go. What are you doing? Go, go, go make money, you and your fancy suit. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. Bye. He seems really nice. You and he aren't. Oh, God, no, no, ew. <laughs> I mean, no, no. Oh, so, any chance you can maybe hook a little sister up? Absolutely. Faster than you can say Belgian waffles. <laughs>
but it's the right word, so let's go with that. Oh. Look, in the beginning of a relationship, everyone sculpts the truth a bit. Take the push-up bra. In that case, you would lift and separate the truth. You have me in a push-up bra? Yeah, and it looks good on you. Yeah? Well, it's starting to feel a little pinchy. All right, look, I am seeing her Friday night, and the truth is coming out. Fine. You know, maybe by then she'll have fallen for you, and you'll be ready to take off the push-up bra and let the girls fly. <laughs> Grant is speaking figuratively. I always prayed for a nanny in a push-up bra. Funny. Real funny, God. Hey. Just wanted to stop by and thank you for hooking me up with Joe. I'm going with him to dinner tonight. God, it is so nice to finally find a normal, stable guy with a good job. That's why we call him Stable Good Job Joe. <laughs> oh, and speaking of jobs, landed it. I'm gonna be working for the mayor's office. Awesome, I'm so proud of my little gamma sister. What are you gonna be doing? Oh, I'm looking into waste and fraud. I'm gonna be doing this in-depth audit of all the city council members. Mm, I don't envy those poor bat. Say what? <laughs> Chillax, I know my big sister would never lie to me. Pshaw, uh-uh. Oh, come on, girl, your audit is gonna be a breeze. It's gonna take like two minutes. I can always trust a gamma. Yeah, that's what I am, uh. <laughs> However, if you're fellow city council members, I'm gonna put their nuts in a vice and squeeze. <laughs> it's gonna be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> you're screwed, aren't you? Yeah, worse than Pledge Week. Oh, thank goodness you're still here. What's up? I just wanted to tell you to have fun on your date tonight. I will. I actually got a great evening planned. I used your name to get us a reservation at Chez Papillon. Yeah, sounds magical. Listen, um, <laughs> it may not be a horrible idea to keep the push-up bra on just a little bit longer. Why? Well, Liz may not be ready to hear about you being a nanny. Well, if she's not ready, I'm ready to suffer the consequences. Yeah, but I'm not ready to watch your relationship die. <laughs> wow, if that's how well you lie, how did you get elected? Okay, the truth is, and it's kind of funny, actually, um, Liz was hired to audit all the city council members. Oh, I see. So if she finds out you lied to her about me... Yeah, she'll put my nuts in a vice. Are you sure you weren't in a fraternity? Well, I was in plenty of those, too. <sighs> no, please, please, okay, three more days, okay? That's when the audit's over. You're my only hope. Look, I need to keep my honest reputation intact. So therefore, I have to lie. Yes, please lie for me. Lie your heart out, okay? Cook up a deception casserole full of lies and falsehoods topped with a thick glaze of BS. <laughs> Again, your aunt was speaking figuratively. That's cool. I'm gonna go out and find myself a role model. So, how'd it go? Awful. We had a really romantic dinner, got back to the car, started to make out a little bit, and she wanted me to take her back to her place. So, a beautiful woman wanted to sleep with you? Boo freaking who? I couldn't do it under false pretenses. Oh, wow, that's, like, honorable. Seriously, I, I really appreciate the uh, sacrifice you made. I don't think you do. I wish there was something I could do to help, but that's really not my area. You know what? I can't take this. I am going with the truth. I'm calling Liz right now. No, 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 Yes, no. I am. Wait, wait, wait. Just uh, three more days is all I'm asking you to hold out. Two and a half, really, if you don't count a half a day. Why would I not count half a day? Because it makes it sound shorter. I can't live like this, Mel. I can barely walk like this. Fine. Fine. I'll just deal with the public embarrassment and the... Damage to my image, you know, the image I've worked on so hard to prove I'm not just an irresponsible, flaky party girl anymore. Fine. Three more days, no more. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you can totally do this, okay? We just have to find a way to keep your mind off sex. Um, ooh, call your mom. Yeah, try it. <laughs> That's not gonna work. It'll work! There is no mood killer like a mother. Hey, Mom. What's up? Did I wake you? Oh, you're still dealing with the foot, huh? 
No way, you're draining the boil right now? Tell me about it, Mom. Please tell me about it. <laughs> What's so suspicious about a son calling his mother six, eight, ten times a day? I, I just want to hear about your colonoscopy. <laughs> Again, just one more time, Mom, please. <laughs> Mom? Hello, Mom? Yeah. Liz! You're here. <laughs> you, you didn't hear me honking? I was right behind you. Can I come in? Uh, of course, yeah, come on in. No, I've been, I'm, I've been dying to show you my place anyway, you know, where I, in fact, live now. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. How long have you been here? About uh, 10 seconds longer than you. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> no, seriously, I love these throw pillows and those sconces. Well, I'm all about uh, sconces, Liz. Wow, these window treatments. Wait a minute. Something's going on here, because no man would pick out those window treatments by himself. You hired a decorator, didn't you? Guilty. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> you mm. are so full of surprises. Oh, well. <laughs> I really like learning all these new things about you. Me too. <laughs> you want to do well? I don't, OK. <laughs> I'm Ryder. He's Ryder. Who's Ryder? Uh, I'm J Joe's nephew. He's my nephew. Uh, Joe took me in because my dad's on the run from the law. You never told me you took somebody else's child into your home? I was hoping I would never have to say that. <laughs> oh, who's this? Oh, boy. Uh, this is Lennox, my sister. Uh, Joe took her in, too. It's not like you could break up the set, right? <laughs> she was real sick, which explains her funny hat. Right? He took you in, too. Yeah. Joe gave me a kidney. <laughs> now I can pee again. <laughs> Joe, that is so unbelievable. I could not agree with you more. Hey, how's everybody? Holy crap. Uh, Mel, hey. Um, Liz followed me home. You know, back, back to uh, my house. Oh, oh, where you now live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why does Mel have a key to your house? Oh, you know, lots of people trade keys with their friends. Yeah, she I feeds my dog. I she waters the dogs. plants. <laughs> Why is there a picture of Mel on your coffee table? Because she's my city council person and she fights for me. And the reason that Mel's name is all over your mail? Oh, oh, that's easy. Um, I used to own the house and now Joe bought it for me. Is that what happened, Joe? What? You know what, guys? I'm not an idiot. I know exactly what is going on here. You two are one of those creepy couples that splits up and keeps living together. Yes! Busted! No, no, we're not. Look, I am telling her the truth. All right, okay, okay. okay. Uh, Look, all right, the truth is... our mortgage is upside down and we can't afford to move out. Oh, will you stop? <laughs> That's not the truth. Look, look. I should have told you from day one I wanted to, okay? I like you a lot. Here it is. I am the nanny, okay? I take care of the kids, I cook the meals, I live in her house. There it is. Oh my God. The nanny? Yeah. You really expect me to believe a lame lie like that? <laughs> Creepy. Wait a minute, Liz, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Liz, look, I was part of a huge global financial scam. This is it's the only job I could get, Liz. I just, ah, I'd go to. <laughs> No one in this house will ever see waffles again. Figuratively? Permanently. <laughs> well, I thought I was very believable. Don't you love audits? Ugh. I hate looking at receipts. It's like fun I had in the past that I have to explain. Ugh. Hey, if you offered your friend Liz a bribe, do you think we could write it off? Sure, why not? And I could write off any chance for re-election. Oh, look, it's a receipt party. Should I get a keg? Hey, Joe, I just wanted to say I'm sorry that things didn't work out with Liz, and I promise, no more help with your dating life. But it went so well. 
Look, I know that being my nanny isn't exactly your fantasy career, but I really, really love my job. And your point is that at least one of us gets to live the dream? <laughs> no, my point is that if I didn't have you to count on, I couldn't go to work every day and do what I love. So, so thank you. Really. You're welcome. You guys must be starving. You want some food? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Right. Sure. Ooh, he's amazing. You're in for such a treat. All right, we got a choice. Pizza taxi or chicken hombre. <laughs> bon appetit. Okay, so look, I'm just gonna say this. Uh, I am a nanny, and I'm proud of it. it. May not be the sexiest job in the world, but it's my job, it's important, and I do it well. I think that's great. And if a woman cannot respect... What? <laughs> Wait a minute, then how come you made up that crazy excuse last week about a website on fire and ran out of here? No, the server really was on fire. My assistant overloaded an outlet and fried my wiring. So, yes, I'd love to have coffee with you. In fact, I'm free right now. So you don't think there's anything unmanly about what I do? Of course not. Well, a little bit, but I'm cool with it. Well, then coffee it is. At my place. I uh, grind my own beans. Wow, you work fast. Yeah, no, actually, I have a load in the dryer. <laughs> we can chat, but you're gonna have to watch me iron. Ooh, sounds hot. Well, you know, I'm also Iron Man. <laughs> Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Morning. Morning, Joe. Morning. Oh, something smells really good in here and I didn't cook it. What the heck is going on? <laughs> I mailed my breakfast. <laughs> and when you threw all that out, you ordered in from a restaurant? <laughs> You're not kidding. Cinnamon rolls. It's true. <laughs> from scratch? If scratch means by dawn's early light, then yes, my shiny-headed domestic friend. <laughs> They're good. And they're real. So, Joe, how's it feel not to be top chef anymore? No, oh, it's not really a competition, Ryder. It's just... Psst, Burke. <laughs> From refrigerator to table in just minutes. I just use that for the picture, you know, the way an artist uses a nude model. <laughs> Damn you, what do you want? Dolby sound system in the SUV. Fine. Ten speakers. Six. Eight. Deal. You don't really need more than eight. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Your aunt has finally taught me. The only thing left for me to do now is just listen to the um, sweet music of defeat. Hi, normal family. Lennox, can I get a ride in with you today? My mom is having one of her meltdowns. She's not throwing stuff, is she? Nah, it's normal she goes to the supermarket in her wedding dress. <laughs> I've seen her. Good morning, Phoebe. Lennox, I have some news that is gonna make you love me. I got an email from your school asking if I chaperone the school dance on Saturday night, and I replied, nah-uh, not making that rookie mistake. Proud of me? <laughs> you can do it if you want. But we're not going. Nobody asked you guys, huh? It's just like the 10th grade boys are all... They have a word for it in French. Les geeks. Why do you need a date? Just go with each other. I used to do it all the time. And then when you get to the school dance, you just snake some other girl's date. Which is wrong. <laughs> Absolutely wrong. Yeah. Cool idea. Want to go to the dance with me? Sure. Want to go to the dance with me? Sure. Great. We both have dates. And if you even think of chaperoning, I will call Child Protective Services. Yes. I guess you're stuck with me. Toledo needs a new youth center to center the youth. 
of Toledo. Well, this will help voters sleep at night and while I'm talking. Did you like it? I wrote it. Oh, well, you know, let's just save this for a special occasion. <laughs> All right, well, let me take a stab at this in my own voice. Um, youth center. Youth center. Youth center. I need a snack. Oh, my God. Longtime Toledo councilman Arlen Tepper accused of employing illegals as domestic help. They picked up his gardener and his cleaning lady. His house is gonna be a mess. <laughs> hey, 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 gossip won't get this speech written, Missy, okay? So, unless it's an item about Matt Damon's fetish for little blonde city council women, let's focus on this. Absolutely. Ooh, Tepper's having a press conference in an hour. There's a picture of him crying. He looks so sad. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're sure this is 100% reliable information? It's all over Facebook. Well, that never lies. <laughs> Fine, we're just gonna go with it then. Hey, uh, Mel, we have a very serious situation here. <laughs> okay, um, Lennox and Phoebe, in order to save money, bought a couple's ticket to go to the dance, and now there's a rumor going around school that they are a gay couple. Oh, no, oh, no, she's gonna blame me! Nah, I think it's gonna blow over. No, these things stick. First day of seventh grade, Bethany Gersh threw up at lunch. For the next six years, she was known as Barfany Gersh. In high school, they called me Stretch. It was ironic. Was it? <laughs> oh, you poor sweet child. How are you holding up? The gay thing. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> isn't that hilarious? <laughs> but won't, aren't, isn't everybody being cruel? Hard to tell. It's high school. <laughs> Come on, my gay sister friend. Let's go get tickets to the Lilith Fair and watch a little WNBA action. <laughs> she is really upset, Burke. You totally called that one. Oh, my God, my niece is a fake lesbian. <laughs> We're going to be on Oprah. Is big. No, 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 you're not taking me off the speech again with another piece of gossipy. Uh oh. Knock, knock. Joe? Joe? You got a minute? I'm at lunch. It's five o'clock. I eat late. Excuse me, I just. Gosh. Your veins get so poppy when you do that. Uh, Joe, I got a situation here. And he's got a situation there. <laughs> okay, keep it in your pants, Stretch. I'll tell you what, why don't I um, stop what I'm doing and give my undivided attention to you? How about I do that for you? There's a huge problem downtown. A longtime councilman has just been forced to resign because he had illegal domestic employees. So the city attorney has demanded... Requested that, we... that all city council people submit proper documentation for all their, you know... For me? Yeah, I snuck over the border to get this job. <laughs> what do they think, I spent uh, 15 hours in the back of a van to live like a mole man in your basement? I know, it's completely unfair. I mean, nobody's asking the mayor for his papers. It's just plain wrong. Oh, that's what I should have said when they called me. That would have been very brave. God, I admire what you almost said. The oven's preheated. And listen, don't worry about it, all right? I will get you the papers. See, no problem. We need them by Friday. That could be a problem. Problem? What do you mean, problem? All right, 375 degrees in the oven, 45 minutes, and uh, back to you. Problem? What do you mean, problem? I'm just not exactly sure where my birth certificate might, you know, precisely be. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Where's your papers? Subpoenaed, all right, along with every other personal and professional document in my life. After a global financial scandal and a lovely little divorce, my life has been stuffed into a series of cardboard boxes. It has been so much fun. Okay, so where are those boxes now? She asked close to strangling him. One of six different places. <laughs> if anywhere at all. Joe, when the uh, city attorney asked the city council people to submit documentation, that's big stuff! What the hell am I supposed to do about it? Find them! What else can I do? How can I help? Oh my God, I'm feeling lightheaded! <laughs> Stephanie, you need to go lay down. You have a couch at your apartment, right? I just don't like it when you guys fight. 
Okay, uh, what about where you grew up? I mean, even New Jersey has a Department of Records. I'm sure I can just have my office call whatever Bruce Springsteen song town you were born in, and they'll overnight the records, and then you can go back to your lasagna and nannies of steel training. First of all, watch what you say about Jersey, okay? And secondly, I wasn't born there. Fine! What city? Where's the plaque that says on this spot the most annoying person I know is born? For your information, I was born in the proud city of Weejungbu. Weeja what? It's in Korea, a little north of Seoul. My dad was military, and I was born in an army hospital in Weejungbu. Okay, you're born in Korea, you don't have any papers, and you work for me. Oh my God! I have an undocumented Korean nanny! As hard as this may be for you to believe, I am not Korean. And I have my documents, okay? I just don't have them. Okay. Uh, let's just call your mother. I'm sure she has some backup records. <laughs> My mom? <laughs> yeah, the only record she has are Sonny and Cher. <laughs> Maybe the Bee Gees. <laughs> Joe, this is serious, okay? Is it possible that your ex-wife has them? All right, fine. I'll call, uh, Tiffany. <laughs> See if she knows. <laughs> she said something about, you know, traveling abroad to Tahiti or Barbados. <laughs> Look at her going all around the world, and I'm stuck here in your kitchen spinning lettuce. <laughs> My job is kind of at stake here, so could you give me a sliver of hope of something? That might be the best lasagna I've ever made. <laughs>decided that Phoebe and I cannot attend Saturday's dance as a gay couple. Ha! That was a laugh of political outrage. Oh, I'm gonna fight this. They have messed with the wrong lesbian. Yeah, the straight one. Come on, Lennox. It's been a month with no phone calls from your principal. Keep the streak alive. I am fighting for my gay rights. You don't have any gay rights until you experiment in college. Is this, um, is this really the hill that you want to die on? Whose side are you guys on? The side that keeps me off your principal speed dial. <laughs> oh! Wow, she's so militant. Well, oh, thanks for being on my side just then. Sure, it's the least I could do. Sort of makes up for what happened this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. All right, a reporter cornered me when I was at the supermarket earlier today. Anyway, he knew that I worked for you, knew I hadn't filed my papers. Little, um, Weasley guy in a tie. Not Jerry Devine. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> anyway, he comes up to me and he says, um, you know, what are you covering up there? I mean, obviously you're an American. And I'm like, oh, really? You can tell I'm an American just by looking at me, can you? Well, guess what? I'm from a Korea, pal. How about that, you mouthy fraud? <laughs> I actually said something a little bit stronger there, but it had the same initials. Okay, Jerry has a column every Friday. He's gonna tear me apart. Why did you just burn a flag while you're at it? <laughs> I got a little hot. You know, what was I supposed to do? Stand there quietly and look American. Relax, all right? There's good news, too. Tiffany gets back in the morning, and she's sending over the file boxes. The ones that contain your birth certificate and your proof of citizenship and everything that says you're legal? Absolutely. Very likely. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Dwayne, you'll have Mr. Longo's documents in your hand tomorrow without fail. Pleasure, as always. You scum-sucking leech. <laughs> Wow, you handled that without even breaking a sweat. I need a dry blouse. Ugh. Well, our city attorney has just informed me that I am the only remaining council person that has yet to file papers. You're kind of like a rebel. Yeah, a rebel without a job. This is getting serious. Well, what's gonna happen if we can't find Joe's papers? Well, I'd hate to have to, you know, cause he's, and the kids really, and even I, I hate this. I mean, I know Joe's the greatest, but at a certain point, don't you have to... I don't know if I can. You could practice by fake firing me. Okay, I'll try. Stephanie, this is not an easy conversation to have. Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, that was super helpful. Joe? Kitchen. Look, I just got here. Your files! The 
this is great. Oh, now I don't have to do anything else. You're pretty disorganized, though. Who cares? We'll go through them all. I mean, how long did it take? From the way you were talking, I was expecting a whole lot more. <laughs> Holy son of a box, does this end? Hey, ML, I'm already on my second box. I zipped through this first one in, like, half an hour. We'll never get through all these by tomorrow. Look, if we all pitch in, we could totally do this. What's the alternative? Well, I'll take this pile. See, that's why I love working with your aunt. She always sticks up for people. Yep, I'm a sticker upper. This one's done. Burke, what are you doing? I just said that one was done. Well, I thought you were sliding them over to me so I could do them. What? No, I've been sliding them over to you because I'm done with them. That's why they have a big red check mark on them. I thought the check meant, hey, check this box out. So I just did this whole pile for nothing. Oh, Lennox, baby. Come on, go to bed. Go to bed. I have paper cuts on my face. Uh. I lasted longer than Ryder. Yes, you did. You did a good, good job. Here it is. <gasps> Fantastic. I've been looking for this thing for 20 years. Uh, this is a picture of five scrawny boys roasting marshmallows. Yeah, me and my bunkmate from Camp Arrowhead, cabin 12. Lenny choke up right there, he could turn his eyelids inside out. <laughs> Those were good times. I need to go home and give my dad a sponge bath. I, he's not sick, just lazy. So are you going to, you know... I hope he takes it better than I did. Have fun cleaning your dad. Joe? Yeah, what are we looking for again? Uh, your proof of citizenship papers? Yes, absolutely good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> listen, Joe, it's, uh, this is not an easy conversation to have. I got him! I got him! I, I found your papers! I'm legal. And you've got the cutest little footprint! Where did you find these? I looked out my window when I spotted a box left out on the driveway. <gasps> Ryder, I could kiss you! I will kiss you! Hey, hey, back off. <laughs> okay, a hug. <laughs> All right, take that, reporter scum. Take that, city attorney weasel. Yeah, take that down to city hall. Yes, yes, going, good. Go get ready for school, dude. You're gonna drive on no sleep? Is that safe? We got airbags, man, they're like big pillows. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, Mom, how are you? Oh, listen, Mom, great news. You know the documents I need you to find for me? Well, you don't need to look any further, because we found them. Yeah. What? One second. Ah, uh, come in. Hey, buddy. What's, uh, going on, huh? What's new in your world? What you been, um, printing lately? <laughs> Nothing. Joe, shouldn't we be going to school? Funniest thing, you know, I was talking to my mom the other day and I told her it was really important that I find my citizenship document. And guess what she found this morning in her garage next to her old 45s? Your mama's guns? Yeah, she does. But I was talking about the paper. She found it. The only copy. And it'll be here tomorrow. So you can imagine my surprise when you just found something a bit ago that doesn't actually exist. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's this? Let me see. Wow, look at this. Wow, this must be one of the earlier drafts, huh? Seems like this one was issued by the great state of now Jersey. <laughs> I have to go stop this. Your aunt could get in serious trouble for passing fraudulent documents, dude. I was just trying to help. Look, I know this came from a good place, okay? And it actually, it actually means the world to me that you did this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have to go, go save her, all right? Well, I, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Councilwoman, ladies, Councilwoman Burke and the city attorney have an announcement for all of you. 
I am pleased to finally be handing over these documents to our city attorney, certifying that my domestic employee, who is here right now, strangely. Hi. It's Joe. It's the, uh, nanny. <clears throat> How you guys doing? Uh, there is, of course, no need for him to actually be here. <laughs> I tried to call your cell phone, but it was turned off. It's a very bad time. Well, it's very important. Yes, yeah, so is this. That's why this camera's here. <laughs> Kids knew how desperate I was to find my papers. Okay, reduce it to three words. Writer, Photoshop, felony. Got it. Burke, I got meetings. Can we just take the pictures and go? And although these papers prove beyond a shadow of a doubt the legality of my esteemed employee, Joseph Longo, American... Where are we going with this? Anybody's guess. I object to singling out a few hardworking people whose only real transgression is their lack of political clout. Turning in these papers would be capitulating to unfairness. You're not giving me the papers, are you? This is where you give them the papers. I say no way in heck. You will never get these papers. Don't make me subpoena your bra. I will take your questions now. Is it true your niece is banned from the Grant High School dance because she's part of a gay couple? What? If your niece marries this girl, will you attend the wedding? This is what you wanted to ask? This is why you're all here? Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud. None of you care about this whole citizenship thing? Old news. If your niece and her wife have children, will they be welcome in your home? Oh, this is idiotic. All right, Lennox is not gay. It doesn't mean we love her any less, though. <laughs> Look, Burke, I'm gonna need this guy's papers. Those aren't real. The papers. <laughs> you will have the real ones in the morning. Tomorrow morning? You know what? I could probably make that work. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> hey, I am sorry that my messy personal life caused you so much trouble here at work. No, it's okay. You know, what really got me upset was the thought of losing you... youth votes. Yeah, you know, for the uh, re-election next year. <laughs> yeah, no, the youth vote can be very fickle. Definitely want to hold on to that one. Yeah, you do. You do. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, thanks for riding to the rescue. No, listen, it was the least I could do. I mean, you know, it's just... Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. Well, I'll... oh, you wanted to... Oh, you wanted... No, well, what it's... do you want to... Oh. Okay. It's... <laughs> I'll see you at home. I'll see you at home. Okay. Yeah, you're blown what up. Do you want to, what? Blow up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to talk to me and now poof I'm just another girl so are you gonna go to the school dance tomorrow because Joe's gonna have to drive you I have a work thing <laughs> what has happened to me today doesn't upset you I'm not gonna lie honey it's like pff, nothing <laughs> I mean yeah, I'm sorry and all but yeah <laughs> fine can you take Phoebe too I'd be glad to, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Nicely done, Burke. You acted like you didn't care, and you forced her to calm herself down. Yeah. That's what I did. Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Yes, I've been holding for quite a while, so if you could just tell me why I'm on hold again, I hate you! <laughs> oh, Celine Dion. Hey, Mel. 
the editor of the school literary blog got expelled for drug possession. Isn't that like the best news ever? <laughs> yeah, his parents must be so proud. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's sad. But the good news is, is Mr. Shamtube is going to have to pick someone to replace him. So who? Roman Mazes, the self-important jerk who calls me tree hug and Barbie? <laughs> Patty, who spits when she talks? Pothead one, pothead two, nah-uh. But what happened to pothead three? Did he graduate? <laughs> I'm the only qualified editor left. I'm gonna storm the barricades. I'm gonna put that blog back into the hands of the people where it belongs. Plus, I'm totally getting rid of those stupid horoscopes. <laughs> oh, gosh, we're such a Libra. <laughs> Hi, hello again, hi. Okay, so my question is, for $1,500, how many guys do I get? Because I really need like two or three. One guy is not gonna take care of me all night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Friday the 14th. Okay, great, I'll get back to you. Jeez, Burke, I didn't realize your dating life deteriorated so bad you need to hire an escort service. Oh, uh, hardy har har. No, I'm hiring a caterer. Yeah, they'll dress up however you want, I hear. <laughs> I'm hosting a reception for the grant winners of the Toledo Small Business Association. Oh, well, if you're having it here and you're paying 1,500 bucks, I'll take the job. And why would I give you the job instead of, oh, I don't know, like a real caterer? Uh, several reasons, all right? Number one, as a cost-conscious businessman, I can make your $1,500 taste like $5,000. Mm -hmm. And numbers two, three, four, and five, my ziti, my caprese, my palm frites, and my killer squash blossoms. I'll start working on the menu. Well, I didn't offer you the job. Ah, you're welcome. <laughs> it's all good. All good. It's okay. Joe hired me as a waiter. What happened to the pigs and blankets? There are no pigs. They were delicious. Oh, so there is one pig. <clears throat> Nothing in a blanket? I've been out of the financial world for a while. I needed a little break. But, um, you know, I'd be interested in consulting again if the right opportunity presented itself. So I can reach you at this number anytime? Yes. Yes, you can. Joe Longo. Hey, weren't you involved in that big scandal in Ponzi scheme? My mom took a bath on that. She lives with me now. Nice talking to you. <clears throat> oh, hi. Uh, no one ordered pizza here. Oh, that's too bad. I'd love a slice. <laughs> no, I'm one of the business grant winners. Wow. Should have worn my cocktail helmet. <laughs> I had no idea this Councilman Mel Burke guy was holding such a formal affair. Uh, Councilman? Yeah, which one of these stuffed shirts is he? Oh, well, can't you tell just by looking? I mean, since the council man is obviously some old white guy. Well, clearly I'm underdressed for this. Ah, uh, you kidding me? You got those super cool clips on your pants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Think it's safe to take off the flashing lights? Oh, hang on. Wait till this truck passes. Okay, you're good. Okay. You know, I was so focused on getting here on time that I completely forgot to put on a tie. And by put on, I mean bye. <laughs> Well, I think we can get you a loner. Come here. No. Nope. Oh, here. Yeah, this one will work. Thanks. Here's a hint. It goes around your neck. I live a relatively tie-free life. Could you show me how to do it properly? Oh, a man who likes to be told how to do something? You should be studied by scientists. I'm hoping you're a scientist. Ah, well, I experimented in college. So show me how to do it. Okay. Here we go. So you take the fat end, goes around the skinny end two times, then you bring it up and through, and then you go back down through the rabbit hole. See, I didn't know there was a rabbit hole. Ah. All right, there. Ah, you look very distinguished. So we can fool them. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry to interrupt. Burke, do you think it's appropriate to be supposed to be down here in my room playing dress up? Burke? Your councilman Burke? Yep, I'm the old stuffed shirt. Well, in my case, stuffed bra. <laughs> Not for real, I mean, it's just a funny joke. <laughs> oh, uh, Joe Longo, this is, uh, this is, uh, he will now tell us. George Carpalos, Jr. <laughs> All right, if I call you Jr.? Well, nobody does. Well, Jr. <laughs> You're wearing my favorite tie. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. This was all my idea. That goes without saying. <laughs> I told you before, Burke. 
Keep your hands out of my drawers. All right, thanks for the image, Longo. Hey, you don't fold up in collie, you roll it, starting with the narrow end. Now, why do I even bother? You put sweaters on hangers. You're not supposed to put sweaters on hangers? Beats me. <laughs> on the floor, no alcohol poisoning, no broken glass in my hair. I mean, nothing like high school, but somehow it was still a fun party. <laughs> Did you enjoy yourself? It wasn't about enjoyment tonight, Burke. It was about business. I made $1,500 in some very important contacts. Oh, really? Miss Blue Dress was an important contact? Look who's talking. I wasn't the one downstairs in the basement playing spin the baby bottle with Junior. Are you accusing me of being some sort of cradle robber? Burke, he's still got that, that little soft spot in the back of his head. And you're what, 33? Uh, not for 275 days. What? I have a birthday app on my phone. Doesn't matter anyway. He left without asking for my number, so he must not be interested. Nah, Junior just probably had to race home before his curfew. Hey, sorry, I know it's really, really late, but I got halfway home and realized that I'd forgotten something here. Oh, what did you forget? To get your phone number. Oh, what do you know? It turns out I've got it right here. Great. So, uh, I'll call you, and, um, we can talk. Well, it looks to me like we're talking right now. Oh, yeah. You know how I can tell? Your lips are moving. And so are yours. <laughs> we may yet have puke on the carpet. So, were you in India as part of your ski bum around the world phase? No, that was actually during my Rhodes Scholarship phase. Seriously? What, a guy can't be a Rhodes Scholar and a ski instructor and a recycling enthusiast? No, he totally can be. It's just, he's usually not the guy talking to me. So, to answer your question, I was in Thailand. Ah, uh, drug holiday? Peace Corps. Of course. And I was just so upset by the trash in the street. You know, the plastic bags, the bottles. It just, it just ate away at me. Oh, could have been parasites. You know, once I drank this Thai cocktail, and I thought, you know, I'm supposed to eat the worm. Turns out, no. <laughs> So I educated myself on the recycling process, and boom, Ecofleece was born. Wow, it's amazing. I mean, you've had so many adventures all over the world at such a young age. You know, the age that you are, whatever age that is. Yeah, yes, but you, you're an elected government official. You must be the youngest councilwoman ever. How old are you, like 27, 28, 20? Stop. No, seriously, stop, yeah, I'm 28. <laughs> Mr. Shamtube. That is a matter of opinion. Did you wake up this morning with a throbbing migraine that made you want to run into traffic? Um, no, but I'm ready and eager to get going on the blog, seeing as you need a new editor and all. You're not the only one who wants the editor position, Miss Scanlon. Yeah, but I'm the only one anyone likes. <laughs> I don't like you. Frankly, I don't like any of you. Ah, here is the other candidate. Roman Mazes. It's my little radical pony. You look extra angry today. Because I'm looking at you. <laughs> Enough. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Mazes, why should you be the new editor? Because I'm going to bring standards back to the Grant Ranch. And ram them down everyone's throat. That's the plan. The Grant Ranch should be a public forum where anyone can say anything about anyone. <laughs> then uh, you should be editor of the bathroom wall. Zip it. <laughs> I want each of you to show me what you got blog wise. You have 24 hours to create a sample. That's not fair. Only 24 hours? I did not hear Jack Bauer whimpering about it. <laughs> Clock's running. Tick, tick. Jack Bauer would have already killed three people. Hey. Well, let's see. Um, it's the Girl Scouts who sell the cookies, so uh, you must be selling tickets for the Scouts' annual pancake breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, if I sell a hundred more tickets, I win a cap gun. <laughs> okay, if I come in? Yeah, sure, come on in. Mel's not here, though, you know. Because this is uh, the time of day when, when grown-ups are at work. I'm actually here to see you. Mel spoke so highly of your business acumen when we had dinner the other night. She spoke highly of me? What was she, drinking? Oh, yeah. Tequila. I see. Anyway, I was just hoping I can get your input on my recycled fabric business. Just finding investors and stuff. Let's take a look at your business plan. Uh, 
Clearly you put a lot of time into the presentation. Uh, it's not just about the razzle-dazzle, though, you know. Sorry, organization isn't my strong suit. But the idea is solid. Mm -hmm. See, look. Cycle the plastic bottles into a lightweight thread. It's not bad. Original product, it's clean and green. That should attract a lot of buyers. But, you know, nothing sells anything better than a face-to-face -face meeting. Not even this, uh, this napkin from Chili's. <clears throat> Had the wings, did you? Okay, face to face, I can do that. Yeah, you sure you got the passion to do that? Huh? Rent a car, drive around the country, shake some hands? Whoa, whoa I, I can't do that. Can't shake hands? What, you got a germ thing? No, no, I can't rent a car. I'm, I'm only 24. 24? Wow. <laughs> that is really, really young. <laughs> Did I just say wow? I meant to holy crap. All right, I'll figure out the transportation thing. Bigger question, how do I weed out the bad leads from the right contacts? 24, dude, you're still growing. It's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just need a minute for that to sink in. Okay, I'm good. Um, can I get you a drink? Okay, uh, got milk? Uh, all right, you got me. No, but I'd really like some milk. <laughs> wow, okay, milk, coming right up. <laughs> you want that in a sippy cup or a big boy cup? <laughs> So, um, interesting news today. Oh, uh, look, that whole thing was overblown, okay? The mayor was just giving that hitchhiker a ride when she, well, technically he, passed out in his lap. I meant news about your friend Junior. George? No, Junior, as in several years, you're Junior. Okay, look, I know he's a little young for me. He's 24, Burke, he told me. Seriously? Yeah, that's a pretty big age gap. Well, it's only four years. How do you figure that? I told him I was 28. You're not 28. The age is just a number. Yeah, when you lie about it. Why do you care so much anyway? Because I just don't want to see you get hurt, that's all. I mean, you guys are at totally different points in your lives, you know? I mean, you're raising kids, he is a kid. He's got two roommates, you got two Fräuleins. Hey! I'm just saying, he probably still gets carded at bars. Well, I get carded sometimes. Yeah, but that's like a pity card. I hope the karaoke bowling wasn't too silly for you. No, are you kidding? I love the bowlyoke. I mean, I got two strikes and I hit the high note and my heart will go on. Almost hit it. You were dangerously close. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I'm falling pretty hard for you, Mel Burke. George, listen. Uh-oh, was that too aggressive? Was it too much tongue? No, 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 no. Don't change the tongue. Um, you know, maybe we should have this conversation inside. If this is about my body spray, I can change it. I got a free sample in the mail. I'm not attached to it at all. No, 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 no. You're fine. Um, but you're probably gonna bolt when you hear this. Um, I'm not exactly 28. Oh? Yep. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm 30. 31. 32. Do I hear 33? No, 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 that's it. I'm 32. So what do you think? I think you're awesome. I'm eight years older than you. Also good at math. So the age difference doesn't bother you? Are you kidding? If this is you at 32, I can't wait to see you at 40. I can wait, I can wait. Oh, hey, this is great. A friend of mine owns a ski lodge, and he's willing to let us in a couple hours before opening. Saturday morning, we can have the entire mountain to ourselves. It'll be romantic. Oh, I wish I could, but I gotta take Ryder to a soccer game. Promise you'll have fun. I'm sure I would, George, but I have responsibilities. And it's the end of the season, and Coach thinks Ryder may actually get off the bench. I understand. No pressure. Why don't you just sleep on it? And I'll be back here first thing Saturday morning, suited up, ready to do some boarding with my snow bunny. I wanna be a bunny. <laughs> what the hell is that? Music, a little sitar. Okay, uh, this is a literary blog. 
there is no music. Uh, a block can be whatever it wants to be. Well, then let's just make a little slumber party chat room. <laughs> what is that music? Oh, it's a uh, native Punjabi folk song. Ah, the music of my childhood. I was beaten. <laughs> Turn it off. What brazen and slightly racist ass kissing. <laughs> I have read both of your sample blogs. And congratulations, Lennox. You are the new editor. Ha! I mean, nice try. And congratulations, Roman. You are the new editor. Ha! And I mean, ha! Wait, what? Which one of us is the editor? <laughs> yes! You're both co-editors! But I can't work with him. Yeah, I can. And she's impossible. <laughs> yes, I was hoping. I expect literary violence. Let the blog beat down. Begin. Who's winning? The blue guys or the red guys? Oh, the, um, you couldn't care less guys. What is it? <laughs> it's about George. Huh. You know, I've been wrestling with this for hours, and it's like, you know, we're just at different points in our lives. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Do you have a hearing problem? Like, when I say those exact same words, are your ears unable to pick up the frequency of my voice? <laughs> if only. Oh, it just struck me. Well, I've been striking you for days, yes. I'm raising two kids and furthering my career, and he's still trying to figure out what he wants to be when he grows up. Are you, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> this is exactly what I've been saying to you. He wants me to be a snow bunny, but I have to be a responsible guardian and city official. You know, we just, we don't have the same goals right now. There's like a, a big blonde echo in here. Yes, yes, look, you're at totally different points in your lives, all right? Look, it's just not a good idea to date somebody that much younger than you. It never works out, and besides that, honestly, it just looks weird. Hey! hey how you doing? How are you? It's good to see you. Joe, who is your delightful young lady friend, Miss Teen Toledo? Uh, th oh, th this is Mandy. She was at the, um, the Small Business Entrepreneurs Night. Oh, yes, I remember you. Blue dress, baby blue dress. <laughs> I'm a little early. Yeah. Uh, it's eight years early. Oh, that is... <laughs> you are so funny. Hey, Joe, have you seen my funny hat with the pom-poms? Yeah, I burned it for your own good. <clears throat> wow, a little overdressed for Ryder's soccer game, aren't you? What is it, an away game in Antarctica? Ryder is carpooling to soccer with Julio's mother, and I am going out for a romantic day on the slopes with George. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm sorry, what... What happened to the conversation we had last night? Let me just recap it for you. Um, I said, um, Mel, you really need to dump George. And you said, Joe, you make a lot of sense. You are absolutely right. That doesn't sound like anything I'd ever say. Wait a minute. Are you doing this because I went out with Mandy last night? You know, believe it or not, Joe, every decision I make does not revolve around who you babysit. Look, do you know what this is? Your face? No. This is my fake smile, okay? I spend hours and hours every day making this big fake smile while I, you know, close deals for the city or raise money for the booster club or convince principals not to kick kids out of school. Now look, do you know what this is? I was just gonna go with your face again, so why don't you tell me? This is my real smile, a genuine smile. This is what I get when I think of George. You know, last night I realized I'd nearly forgotten what that was like, but now that I've got it again, I don't wanna lose it. You know, so sometimes I have to be a responsible city councilwoman, and sometimes I can be a snow bunny. So today is bunny day? Hell yeah. <laughs> what do you know? Your paper boy's here. Hey there. Hello. Hey, you're not dressed for the slopes. I know. I thought about what you said yesterday about your responsibilities. And you know what? If you have to take Ryder to his soccer game, then I'm going to go with you because... I just want to be with you, wherever that is. You do that for me? Of course. And you do this for me? <laughs> Sorry about that. You look awfully hot. Oh, yeah, I got a few layers on. <laughs> no, I mean, you look hot, as in amazing. Well, then I should go take this off before I overheat. And I better help you do that. <laughs> what about Ryder's soccer game? 20 minutes, make some sandwiches.
And that's when Mike Faraday charged the goal and I wound up with his cleats in my cup. Mm. Sorry about that, buddy. What was the final score? I don't know. I was in and out of consciousness until the pizza. <laughs> ah, look who's home. I was skiing. Oh, it was fantastic, exhilarating. Felt like I was 24, which I'm not, and I'm okay with that. She even did the Black Diamond run. Oh, I wouldn't say I did the Black Diamond run as much as I fell down the Black Diamond run. Do we have any ice packs? Oh, yeah, cleats. I'll get you some. See you, buddy. Look at you, you're glowing. Oh, yeah, I think I got a little windburn. No, I mean, um, you look really happy. Yeah? Well, I am. I really, really am. You know, there's nothing else I need in my life right now. I made soup. You want some oh, soup? Oh, I would love some soup and crackers. Okay. George, you take my advice seriously, right? Oh, absolutely. Good. Look, you got to be all in on this deal, okay? You got to be committed. People who invest in you are expecting a return. Are we talking about the business or Mel? All of it. Well, I'm in it 100%, Joe. 100%. All right. Ah, thanks. Yeah. I'm going to head upstairs and take a hot bath. Race ya. <laughs> she meant you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Hey, Burke. Um, are you uh, working out or giving birth to an armchair? You know, from where I'm sitting, I could punch you so hard it would change your voice. So tell me, how did this happen? Did you lose a bet? Oh, very funny. No, I lost my breath. The elevators were out at work, and I had to take the stairs, and by the third flight, I was gasping for air. The third flight? Well, almost the fourth. <laughs> anyway, the 5K run for the schools that I stupidly signed up for is around the corner, and then it hit me. That you're actually gonna have to, uh, you know, run? No, I gotta stop signing up for stuff. <laughs> but it's too late for that. You know the first thing to go when you're a busy single woman raising your convicted sister's teenagers? Your workout. No, please, before the uh, kids and the council thing, your idea of a workout was dancing drunk till dawn. Yep. And with the right trainer, I can regain that kind of endurance. All right. So when do you want to do this? You want to uh, train in the morning before you go to work? Uh, how about when you're not around? Oh, did you think when I said a trainer that I meant you? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, who else? Uh, short answer? Anybody else. <laughs> oh, that's my trainer. You want me to... Okay. <clears throat> Why are you working out before your trainer comes over? You know, it's like cleaning the house before the cleaning lady comes, or, uh, you know, washing the dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. Yeah, or other things that you never do. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hello. I'm Lindsay Gates, looking for Mel Burke. You found her. It is you. I don't want to sound too nerdy, but I watch all the city council hearings. Aw, a public access fan that doesn't wear a tinfoil hat. <laughs> I feel like I'm training a celebrity. Oh, please, I'm just another out-of-shape council person. The youngest out-of-shape council person in the city's history, by the way. Well, this is definitely not going to be about weight loss because you look great. Oh, shut up, I do not. I love you. <laughs> you're, my, you're my new best friend. <laughs> you ladies can feel free to use my uh, weight bench out in the garage if you need it. Oh, I don't believe in weights. The body is its own gym. Okay. Well, plus, you know, you save on membership fees, too, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this is Joe Longo. He takes care of the kids. How? By bench pressing them? <laughs> no. <laughs> Although I could. Mm. Honey, don't worry. We are not doing that to you. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought you were here to get her in shape. The shape of a real person, not an action figure. <laughs> now, let's get going. 
Okay. She's great, isn't she? Grating? Yes, she is. <laughs> Hulk mad. <laughs> Smash many walls. <laughs> deep and I feel better, stronger, a new me. Gluteus fabulous. <laughs> That's the endorphin rush, another benefit of exercise. Oh. Who knew a legal high could feel so good? I mean, except for the pleasure of getting straight A's in high school. <laughs> oh yeah, I love that story. Did you get a chance to try the pomegranate juice with vodka? I'm a believer. I mean, now I can get my drink on and get my antioxidants, thank you. Hey, anything for my favorite client? Okay, Bliss sisters, um, I'm gonna go grab a few minutes on the bench if you're all through with your lady workout. You do any elongating for those muscles? Who's asking? I was just thinking you could benefit from yoga or Pilates to give you some flexibility instead of this uh, Popeye thing you got going. <laughs> Popeye? <laughs> I never thought of that one. Well, I never said it out loud. Listen, as much as I appreciate your unsolicited meddling, which really isn't a lot, let me just say that... Um, I am what I am. Ah, uh, he's just a little sensitive, you know, so you might want to... Sure, I'll go easy on him. No, 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 I was going to say tear him a new can of spinach. <laughs> <sighs> okay, was that a you want to talk sigh or a stand on my business sigh? I'm okay, just listening to some music. Oh. Songs that make me feel alive, from Beckett. Songs that make me cry, from Beckett. Songs from Beckett, from Beckett. <laughs> Who are these from? Beckett. <laughs> we were such good friends. This was that cute, geeky guy, right? Who had a crush on you? Yes, that's him. He's seeing Alexis Swinton now, and he's off limits, and I lost a friend. It's not like I want to be his girlfriend or anything, but I miss hanging out with him. Okay, so you want the friendship back? Yes. Can that work? Can you be friends with a guy who has a girlfriend? Sure, you know, boys just need instructions. You know, you gotta tell them what you want and define the boundaries. Oh, and wear baggy clothes. Beckett? Hey, Lennox. Long time no friend. <laughs> yeah. Is it all right if I come in? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of why I asked you over. Just making sure, didn't want to push things. So, um, I burned you a new mix CD. Songs of Friendship Only, from Beckett. <laughs> nice. And a bunch of graphic novels where the hero does not get the girl. So. You follow instructions well. It was all in your text. I even printed out a copy for reference. Wow, you laminated it. Of course, it's important. <laughs> Put that down. Oh. <laughs> so, um, what have you been up to, my good friend? Uh, oh, I brought you this flyer. They're doing a whole week of French films at the museum. Oh, are you guys going? No. Uh, Alexis hates subtitles and French people and anything where mimes could suddenly appear. <laughs> but maybe we could go. That's friends, right? Right. Because some things you do with your girlfriend and... Some things you do with your friend friend. <sighs> Not that there's anything wrong with your girlfriend. No, Alexis is great. She is great. <laughs> great, great. The best part of Josh moving out is I have a lot more closet space and a lot less cheating on me. <laughs> you can laugh, but you have to hold the pose. Oh, okay, I'm holding the pose and I'm holding in my pee. That's a good exercise too. Oh wow, you're working every muscle I've got. Mel, hey, I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, your phone's been ringing off the hook, and I know I'm forbidden to answer it, but then this text came in that said unbelievably important. Oh, my God, I missed four calls. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, because I didn't get sick of hey ya yeah, until the fourth one. <laughs> oh, they moved up my budget hearing. I'm sorry, Linz, I gotta go. You still have 15 minutes. You know what? My gift to you, Joe. 15 minutes with an actual trainer. You two play nice. Whoa, wait, M Mel? Actually, yo, Mel, that's... Per um, I'm really... Well, I'd be very happy to show you something, but I don't think it would do any good. You really think I could benefit from your little girly stretches? Give it a try, unless you think it's something you can't do. Crouch down like that with both arms out? Whew, it's gonna be 
be tough. Where'd you learn this, huh? Back of a granola box? Where does all this anger come from? Did you get it with the muscles? Maybe it comes from the fact I've been working out since the second grade now. I have a know-it-all in tights telling me what's going on. Well, if you can't do it, you can't do it. <clears throat> oh, please. <clears throat> Straight here. Okay. Point this way. Yep. Tighten the you. stomach. Lift the rib cage. All right. Now breathe. <laughs> you don't like when women tell you what to do, do you? You haven't talked to a real man in a while, have you? Is that what you are? A real man? Yeah. You want to find out? <sighs> so bad. <laughs> Cell phone. Where's my cell phone? Oh, right. <laughs> Those are not approved stretching exercises. <laughs>
Yeah, I just gotta stay focused. Friendship. Good girl, stay strong. Hey, and don't look in his eyes and don't sniff his shirt. <laughs> Ryder? Morning, ML. There's fresh coffee if you want it. It's fresh. You don't drink coffee. Mm, I did today. Wide awake. Mountain grown. What are you doing up so early? The JV cheerleaders are having their tryouts, and a few of us are going to go over and, you know. Watch girls kick and bend? Basically. Great. So the hormone fairy mm. got you, too. Oh, hey, everybody. Whoa, what happened to you? Uh, I was out late last night. Didn't get much sleep. <laughs> What are you doing up this early? I thought you were allergic to Dawn. Well, I have my practice 5K with Lindsay. She should be here any minute. Morning. Or sooner. Hey, I'm gonna make us some omelets. What do you want in yours? Mm, coffee. coffee. You know, I think she may have slept over. Really? Get out of here. I'm glad I don't have to be anywhere this morning. Um, actually, you were supposed to be someplace. Really? Yeah, here. You know, our run at 7.30 sharp. Oh, yeah. Sorry. There's no need to apologize, Lynn. It's only, um, 7.29. You're actually here early. You drink your coffee, we get some breakfast in you, and you'll be good to go. Isn't that right? Yeah, sure. What a great morning, huh? I'm making breakfast. Lindsay's already here, and as soon as you pull that stick out of your butt, you'll be going for a nice run. I'm sorry I got mad back there, Linz. You know, I'm really counting on this run today, and I appreciate you getting yourself together for me. Lindsay, you gotta pull back now. Oh, this is working out perfect. Thank you so much. I had quite a workout there, draping a blanket over my unconscious trainer. Look, it's my fault she was out so late. So don't be mad at her, just be mad at me. Done. <laughs> One error in judgment mine shouldn't destroy your whole friendship with Lindsay, all right? She's a great girl and a phenomenal trainer. I mean, she has flexibility, Mel. Like, I have Okay, never okay, seen... stop right there. Okay, I forgive Lindsay and you eventually, but you need to be aware of what I'm doing with Lindsay. And you need to be aware of what I'm doing with no, Lindsay. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. The enemy's just coming back. Look, look, I mean, clearly, we need to be more serious about how we schedule these things, because just being respectful of each other is not really working out. So how about this? All right, you set all of your workout times, and then Lindsay and I will plan our dates around that. This way nobody gets hurt. Fine. Okay, tomorrow's Sunday, and we're not working out, and tonight I have my big town hall meeting, so the kids will be at their party, and you guys can have the house to yourselves. Just do whatever you want. I just don't want to hear about it, and I definitely don't want to see it. Deal. Ooh, you really are getting stronger. No, this time it's really anger. <laughs> Ugh, football. Do you ever watch football? Only ironically. <laughs> but, uh, you know who really likes football? Alexis. Yeah. Lennox, if I were to, let's say hypothetically, uh, break up with Alexis, do you think that you might, hypothetically, want to go out with me? What? I mean, if you were willing to commit, I'd drop Alexis in a nanosecond. It's a very small unit of time. No, but yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, uh, this is very flattering. So you're good to go? You'll be my girlfriend, I'll call her right now. Okay, wait, so if I agree to go out with you, you'll dump Alexis, but if I say no, you'll stay with her? Yeah, it's simple economics. You know, a guy doesn't quit a job till he's got another one lined up, and I don't wanna go back to being self-employed. <laughs> Okay, but if we're dating and you find another girl who's even hotter, will you dump me? Of course not. Wait, how hot are we talking? Stacy Glaskell? Beckett, what has happened to you? I don't know. You know, I never had a girlfriend till a month ago, and now I see all these possibilities, and it's very overwhelming. Well, let's make this simpler for you. You now have one less possibility. Oh. So we're... Back to being friends? Uh-huh. With no chance of it turning into anything else? No chance. So no hard feelings then if I take off and go see Alexis? <laughs> yeah, fine, go. Go see Alexis, go see Stacy, because according to you, all girls are interchangeable. There's no difference at all. Ugh, what was I thinking? 
I miss him already. <laughs> Please don't be doing it. Please don't be doing it. Please don't be doing it. I'll just grab another bottle of wine, all right? <laughs> what, what the hell are you doing here? What happened to the house is all mine tonight? Well, it is. It is. I'm just going to sneak upstairs and put on my sex-canceling headphones. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get down here. You told me you were going to be at City Hall all night tonight. There was a bomb scare. What was I supposed to do? I don't know. Stay there. Take one for the team. <laughs> no. What a nice surprise. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a uh, quiet, invisible surprise. I'm just gonna grab this um, delicious container of uh, brown food meat and uh, go upstairs and eat it all by myself in my room. Nice, bon appetit. No, Joe, go get another plate for Mel. I'm going to bring her wine glasses in. <laughs> all right, Lance. Take your nondescript leftovers and get upstairs right now. Well, Lindsay invited me to dinner. Well, I'm uninviting you. Look, look, something kind of special is starting to happen here, all right? I think she is becoming my girlfriend. And, you know, I don't normally pull rank here, but uh, girlfriend trumps trainer. Oh, really? I didn't know we were playing rock, paper, scissors, girlfriend, trainer. <laughs> all right, you're right. Yeah, I, I guess I can find a new trainer much, much easier than you can find a new girlfriend. You really could have just stopped it, you're right. Just let me tell her, okay? Fine, all right. I'm gonna go grab another bottle of wine. I'll be right back. Hey, uh, Lindsay, sit down. Let's let's talk for a second. Um, I'm not gonna be able to train with you anymore. Why? Well, because it's just messy with the three of us, you know. And what you and Joe have is more important, you know. You guys have a real relationship. No, we don't. <laughs> Say what? I wouldn't call it a relationship. I'd call it a great way to burn calories. Oh, oh, so that's all Joe is to you, just cardio. <laughs> There's some strength training in there too. <laughs> if you thought I was serious about Joe? No way. Oh, so this was always about the sex? Not just sex. Great sex. <laughs> just between us, I'm getting back with Josh. Cheater? Josh? Yeah, he begged me to come back. And Joe, he's my secret revenge that no one has to know about. So, uh, where does this leave Joe? Right here. You know, uh, Linz, I was, I was saving this bottle of wine for a special occasion. Thought tonight might be it. Special night, special lady. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna say this. Well, guys, I had a big lunch, so I should just head home. So tomorrow at seven as usual? Nah, you know, I, uh, I think I'm gonna give a new trainer a try. You know, a local guy. <laughs> ZD is really great. She is missing something. She sure is. I thought you were saving that bottle for someone special. Yeah, well, you know, I don't, don't want to go all the way up and down the stairs again. Mm. You're a true romantic. I am. <laughs>Okay, look, that's the stew, all right? You keep going. I'm gonna go check it and be right back. Let's go. 11. 11 right. 12, 12. 13. 13. Keep going, keep going. 14. 15. <laughs> 16. 17. 25. 15. 10. Mel. 21. <laughs> Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. There, done with the wedding favors. Oh, look at you. Who knew you were so skilled at attaching bows to useless crap? <laughs> <laughs> You're right.
listen, I intend to throw my cousin Emily the best damn lesbian wedding ever for under $5,000. Well, wow, if that were a reality show, I'd definitely watch anything else. So why are you going to all this trouble for a cousin that you never see? Because I'm a nice person who does nice things for people all the time. Especially when a crowd gathers. Okay, which do you think is better, chocolate cake or vanilla? Um, well, it's a wedding, so, you know, I go with vanilla. Mm, yeah, good thinking. Make that. No, no, I'm not gonna do this just for a couple of strangers. Oh, they're here! Nelly! Emmy! Oh, and this is Bianca. Bianchi, get in here. You're probably now we're about to be. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe you're doing all this. The ceremony, the decorations, you're just so, so... Selfless, generous, fabulous. You don't have to pick just one. <laughs> Emily, tell me you're doing everything yourself. Well, not everything. I'm making the cake. Hi, I'm Joe. Come here, you two. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, the family? Hot, hot family. It's all good. Okay, wedding cake, but to make a great wedding cake, you need the um, secret ingredient. Love? Scaffolding. Writer, forget the cake. This wedding video should make a statement about gay marriage and how our intolerant society refuses to accept it. We could totally stick it to all the homophobic weasels. Okay, honey, just make sure you get my good side. <laughs> hey, Joe, you want to see a picture of Emily naked? Ooh, you know I do. Yep. Th this is a baby. She's in a diaper. Yeah, but who's the cuter baby next to her? It's me, Baby Mel. I'm just looking for good pictures for the slideshow. Oh, is that the school play? Yeah, I was Peter Pan, and she was Nana the dog. Well, the back end of the dog. Oh, and here we are at our camp swim meet. I got first place. She got pink eye. I'm seeing a pattern here, Burke. Um, you were always the star, and she was basically the dog's ass. Yeah, but despite that, we were like sisters, you know? I mean, until puberty. That's where she finally came in first. No, oh, yeah. Wow, no offense there, Berkey, but uh, she left you in the dust there. It's dust with a double D. And yet, I still beat her out for prom queen. Uh, with, with love and respect, um, how? Oh, well, she was suspended from school and banned from the prom. I mean, it, it wasn't anything I did, you know, or planted in her locker that the principal found, like schnapps. I see. So that's why you're doing all this, because you still feel guilty. Little. And I want the whole family to see that Mel Burke has changed. So I am unselfishly giving Emily the greatest gift one woman can give another. A kidney? <laughs> I'm letting her get married before me. And if she ever needs a kidney, she can die knowing she got married first. That is every dead girl's dream. It's ivory by a landslide. Suck it, Peach. <laughs> All right, who wants to go outside and talk flower placement? Oh, I would love to, sweetie. Uh, whatever you want. I'm sure it'll be beautiful. Oh, I see you found Mrs. Wright. Look <laughs> at <laughs> you getting all married before me. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, you think it looks good now? What do you see with the frosting on it? Because the uh, frosting will be the icing on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> it must be hard to focus on your work with all these hot women in the house. Yeah, it's hard, but, you know, I find a way to soldier on. You know, I wouldn't mind having a hot guy in my house. <laughs> yeah. you know, you know uh, the, the, actually, the most important thing about making a cake is these uh, four dowels, because it prevents the top tier from... Hands! <clears throat> Do I get a little close there? Uh, maybe. Bianca, Emmy wants you out there to approve centerpiece placement, and by that, I mean not at what she's already decided. Isn't that what marriage is all about? Oh, look, cake toppers. I had to buy two full sets and throw away the grooms. Bianca just hit on me. <laughs> Very funny. I'm serious. She just put her hands on me. Bianca, and you're clear on what a lesbian is? I thought so. Okay, show me on the bride where the bad lady what, touched you. you. I'm serious, all right? She just touched me. Yeah, well, people touch people all the time. Wow, you really have an unbelievable ego. Well, I, 
I have an unbelievable ego. You're, you're the one making this whole day about you. I mean, come on, you know, have your wedding at my house. Look at all the amazing things I'm doing for you. Check out my hot nanny. And what exactly is it you want me to do about this figment of your imagination? Tell the bride. The, the other bride. No way. No, and ruin my special day? Their special day? <laughs> You saw what she did, didn't you? Morning. Hey. Twinkle lights for the trellis? Anything else I can do? No, 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 no. Everything's handled. So, how many of these cards have you done? Ugh, a few. Million. <laughs> I'm getting a little hand crampy. Oh, you poor thing. Here. How's that? It feels great. <laughs> it's not just the muscles in your hand. Tension can start in your wrist. Your forearms? No, I think the tension's staying way down here where it's safe. <laughs> Ready up to your shoulders and your neck. Your lovely neck. Hands! Hands! <laughs> so you've never been with a woman? Nope, never. Nope, not even in college with my friend Renee. Um, I better drink the lights. <laughs> you're doing looks wonderful my 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 it just really looks great yes it does yes it does Bianca just hit on me god you're competitive oh I swear yeah she tried the whole you know you look tense let me give you a hand massage oh I don't usually fall for that sober oh relax Bert, because unlike certain people I believe you and watch how I'm not gonna say I told you so oops I'm sorry I was dismissive before well, you gotta tell Emily now. Man, but what about the wedding I'm throwing for Emily? You don't wanna show my family I'm a good person. A good person would save her cousin from this man-eater. Woman-eater. <laughs> People-eater. We're here with Emily Burke, lesbian American, on the day of her commitment ceremony with her partner. Now, tell us, how angry are you that so many people in the world refuse to acknowledge the validity of your gay love? Oh, all of our friends are coming. They've been nothing but supportive. I just wish my parents were here. Aha! Stuck in an older generation's intolerance. No. No, they're just stuck in traffic. <laughs> so, tell us a story of how you and Bianca met. Was it a protest rally? Did the cops tear gas you? Uh, not quite. It was a singles mixer at our church. <laughs> Strangely, there was tear gas. Really? No, no, I was just trying to give you something. <laughs> God's sake, writer, cut. We're getting nothing. Hey, uh, we watch the WNBA all the time. <laughs> Don't patronize me. So I can use Lennox's room to change? Yeah, you know, your clothes, your mind, whatever you want. God, I'll never be able to thank you for all of this. You've done everything to make it the perfect day. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, well, is anything ever really perfect? Well, the love Bianca and I have for each other comes pretty close. Love's a funny thing, you know? Um, you could love someone, and they could love touching other people. I'm not sure I follow you. I'm just saying, if, if you wanted to, you know, call off the whole wedding, I would not be mad that all my work was for nothing. Okay, spit it out, Mal. You haven't been this evasive since Schnapsgate. <laughs> Bianca made a pass at Joe. She did what? I'm sorry, she, you know, she grabbed him in his grabby parts. Well, the hind ones. <laughs> No, no. This must be a mistake. Bianca's a very physically expressive person. Besides, she is not into guys. It's one of the things that brought us together. <laughs> well, she, uh, yeah, she kind of made a pass at me, too. Oh, I see what's going on here. You can't stand it when someone else has the spotlight. Ever since that summer when I developed before you did. God, I can't believe this. You're more obsessed with breasts than I am, and I'm crazy for those puppies. No, Emily, I, I'm just trying to protect you. Please don't go through with this. I am getting married before you. Deal with it. Now, can we just forget we ever had this conversation? Ugh. Well, I told Emily, and she didn't believe me. So that's it? We just give up? Let Emily marry this cheater? This crazy, hot cheater? Wait, what are we supposed to do? We can't convince her without proof. Wait a minute. What, what about if we put a video camera up in your room? You know, and then, and then we can lure Bianca in? Get her to make a pass, catch it on tape, bang! So to speak. A hidden 
camera? Oh, come on. Hey, it worked in American Pie. <laughs> well, you, you can't argue with that. That's a historical fact. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, use me as bait. Well, you. No, look, if we want this plan to work, I need to be the bait. What? No, I, I'm a woman. I'm less bait. Uh, look, she came on to me first, and I rejected her. You were the rebound pass. You know what? We don't have time to argue. I'll go get the camera, and you can be the peanut butter in the trap. Everybody loves peanut butter. <laughs>
Just getting married? What's up with you? I, I just uh, came up here to look for something. Um, I think I left it on the bed of the Can you help me find it? What are we looking for? Oh, it's, uh, oh, I found it. It's the light in your eyes. It says something to me. You did not just say that. I can't stop thinking about how you asked me if I've ever been with a woman, and no, I haven't. Yeah, you told me that this morning. Well, you know, that now the thought is under my skin like an itch, and um, I just thought maybe you could scratch it. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mel, it's my wedding day. I know, makes it even hotter, doesn't it? I know you got all sorts of issues, but could you maybe take them downstairs? But I don't have issues. I, uh, I just came to help. You know, if you need anything zipped or unzipped. Yeah, goodbye, Mel. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know you want it. Is it possible we're not as hot as we think we are? <sighs> I guess it's possible. <laughs> I mean, she had a shot at this. And that. We're here for hair and makeup. Can you tell us where we find Bianca? Oh, yeah, right up those stairs, first door. Huh. Well, I better go apologize to Emily. I feel just awful. Hey, look, if it's any consolation, uh, you know, if I saw you in a bar and I didn't know you and you didn't speak or interact with me in any way, I would probably hit that. Aw, thanks. And if I saw you in a bar, I'd be all... Who's looking after the kids? <laughs> no, seriously, you look fine. Okay, we're in major trouble. Perhaps it wasn't a good idea to piss off the caterer. He was a bigot. Get over it. Well, I called every other catering place in town. They laughed at me. You can always order a bunch of pizzas. But this is a wedding, not a Super Bowl party. <laughs> pizzas aren't classy enough. Unless... Unless you cut them into little squares and call them pizzettas. <laughs> Watch a lot of Top Chef. Everybody's outside. We can talk in here. Fine. What is it? Who did Bianca feel up now? So my grandma was looking kind of happy. <laughs> uh, Bianca didn't do anything. It turns out the whole thing was up. City a better place to live. Same old party girl Burke. I don't even know how you live with yourself. Really? You think I'm okay? Yeah.
You know, this cake really is a thing of beauty. Yeah, thank you. Dirty as a rock, too. You won't be able to knock that thing over. Go ahead. Give it a try. Good luck. Wow, as fun as that sounds, I actually prefer to eat my cake. Yeah? All right, well, first of all, you have to cut the cake correctly. Yeah, I know how to cut a cake. No, well, obviously, you don't know how to cut a cake, okay? Because you were trying to cut it, but it was not correct. You need to cut it like a pie, all right? So, look, you kind of go in like this. Scoop it up under. Perfect. And nice. up like, boom. Just like that. All right, let's see. You gonna give it a taste? Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh? What? What's the matter? Yeah, it's, it's not very moist. <laughs> moist? What are you talking about? Oh. Here, try. It's perfectly moist. <laughs> You know what? No, you're wrong. That's actually, um, it's actually very, very moist. You know, the thing about it is that, um, I just don't think you had a big enough bite, see? and Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. You were supposed to be here an hour ago. I had important meetings with local businesses. Hey, I went shopping. You happy? <laughs> shopping? It was an emergency. What? Your credit card caught on fire. You had to put it out by rubbing the magnetic strip back and forth in that thingy. <laughs> Look, my family needed some serious retail therapy. OK, last night, 2020 ran that embarrassing piece again about Lennox and Ryder's father being a fugitive. Oh. It was awful. Really bad. So you're buying their pain away? For them. It's all for them. Every bit of it. Ooh, except for these Pepto pumps. Yeah, those are for me. <laughs> well, when the kids hurt, I hurt. <laughs> oh, hey, hi. 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 Yeah, we covered that. <laughs> you guys are home in uh, the middle of the day. Because I live here and I have keys. <laughs> What do you got going there? Water. Just, uh, drinking water. From two glasses? I enjoy water. They say it's tasteless, but, um, not to me. <laughs> Joe! Oh. Oh, there's the other glass of water. <laughs> Hi. I'm Tessa. I'm Mel. Rhonda. Nice to meet you. I'm Joe's... Cousin. <laughs> Distant. <clears throat> So you're just having a family get-together down there. Yep, that's what we're doing. And it's been so great to see you, Tessa, really. But I'm sure that you have several other cousins to see in other basements, so... Oh, don't rush out of my account. No, 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 rush. It's great. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> All right, bye-bye. So, cousin Tessa? Really? Really? Yeah. Joe, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. We're all adults here, okay? I mean, is she a good kisser? Do you love her? Huh, huh, huh? <laughs> Does it bother you I was having somebody over here for lunch? What, are you gonna write me up in your, uh, slam book? Like I have a slam book? It's more like a blog. <laughs> Look, Joe, you can have anybody you want over here for lunch, but just be careful where you eat it, okay? We don't want the kids walking in on you while you're dining. Did you have fun with that? Yeah, I actually did. <laughs> I guess you're stuck with me. Hey guys, how was school? Ryder, you get any compliments on the new backpack I got you? Oh, tons, because that's just what dudes do. They also said they like my top. You guys are really connecting. Yeah, I felt that too. So, did you pick up the poster board for my project? Uh, no, but I'm on it. Hey, did you pick up the poster board for Lennox's project? Hello? Joe? Huh? Poster board? For what? Is that from Tessa? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, the future Mrs. Longo. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we back to the high school thing? Yeah, does she get all smoochy when she writes? Wow. Okay, no hesitation at all. Just sticking your nose right up into my personal business. <laughs> That's what we got going on, you and I. Yeah, it's part of what makes us us. <laughs> I don't like that part. 
Why don't you just admit you have a girlfriend? It's no big deal. Look, fine. I have a girlfriend. Good. Good for you. And your girlfriend. And you wonder why I don't tell you anything. Joe, aren't you forgetting something? What? Uh, that thing for Lennox? No, I didn't forget. I'm on my way right now to pick up, um... You have no idea what it is. Yeah, I do. It starts with, uh... An S. Poster board. So much poster board. That's what I was going for. <laughs> going to get a huge pile of it right now. Here I go. Oh, right after I take this. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Hey, 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 get your shoes off the coffee table. Wait, 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 wait. Get your shoes back on the coffee table. What happened to the awesome new sneakers I bought you? Uh, uh, sneakers? Yeah, they were leather, very expensive. You wore them to school this morning. Any of this ringing a bell? Yeah, the thing is, I lost them. How? They're tied and knotted to your feet. <laughs> I, I don't know. These things happen. I get distracted. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, sit. Relax. Come on. It's been a while since you and I have had a heart to heart. We've never had a heart to heart. All right, then screw that. What happened to your shoes? Listen, you better tell me what really happened in one, two, three. All right, tell me what happened or else. Or else what, four? <laughs> or else I will come down to your school in my bathrobe and cry. Uh-huh. Yeah, my mother did that once. Trust me, it works. Okay, somebody took my sneakers, okay? Please just don't go all bathrobe. Let me take care of it. Okay, all right, you're a smart kid. You can totally handle this on your own. I need you to spy on your brother to see who's bullying him at school. Someone's bullying Ryder? That's my job. Okay, just keep an eye on him, okay? What's in it for me? The sense of satisfaction that you're doing something nice for your brother? Seriously. <laughs> 20 bucks. Anything for family. And here's another letter from our favorite constituent, Mr. Eggery Red Crayon. Oh. <laughs> it's good that they're keeping him away from sharp yeah. objects. <laughs> Hey, where's Joe, and why isn't he here making us dinner? Oh, he said he had to go meet with Tessa. Somebody sounds a little jelly bean. What are we, in the fourth grade? I am so not jelly bean. I don't care what Joe does with Tessa, or where Joe goes with Tessa, or what Joe does mm -hmm. with Tessa. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's Joe and Tessa! Oh, oh, duck, or they'll think we're spying on them. Okay. This is like a really crappy date. I mean, who brings file folders to a booty call? You don't ever play secretary? Yeah, but all you need is a pencil in the hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're coming in! Act normal, hide! Well, I just don't want your councilwoman friend to find us like she did the other day. I can totally handle her. Oh. Can I get you a, a drink? Sure. So do you really have a contact at the Bank of Dubai? Yes, I do, and he will do whatever we want. You just need to help me draft that email. Okay. And you sure your boss is not suspicious at all? Of course not. <laughs> Technically, um, she's not my boss. I'm freelance. Oh, holy crap. How do pole dancers do that? <laughs> Constant workouts, main reason I switched to politics. That was kind of a lateral move. Bank of Dubai? What in the heck is going on down there? Sounds like Joe's involved in some kind of shady deal. My Joe? Well, he did work for Louis Scanlon. Yeah, but he was duped. He lost everything. Desperate men will do desperate things, like become your nanny. <laughs> you did a thorough background check on Joe before you hired him, right? Fingerprints? FBI? I checked his Facebook page. <laughs> and his Netflix queue. Oh. I mean, the guy was waiting for Marley and me. <laughs> no, you have to know what's going on in your own house. This is gonna be so unpleasant. With any luck, you'll go down there and they'll just be having sex. Fingers crossed. So if his assets were last seen going through Abu Dhabi, they would next show up where in Kanye? Knock, knock, coming through. Don't mind me, just, uh, just doing a little laundry here. Since when do you do laundry? Since when do you have a giant map on your wall? How? Looks like some sort of geography lesson with uh, pins in the Middle East and Photos and articles about Lewis Scanlon. What are you guys up to? We're on a date. <laughs> really? Look at 
looks like you're on some sort of a manhunt. Oh my God, are you on some sort of a manhunt? Fine, we're looking for Lewis. And we are this close to finding him. Uh-huh, so the feds are stumped, but you and your Bond girl are gonna crack the case from down here next to my water heater? We know how Lewis thinks, we both worked for him. Tessa lost everything too. My kids had to switch to public school. Oh, that's terrible. I mean, not about the schools because they've really improved. Smaller class sizes, state-of-the-art metal detectors. Three days ago, Tessa called me and said that Lewis was spotted in Dubai. Look at this. See this picture? It's a little bit grainy, but there he is, right there. Oh, yeah, you're right. And look who's there next to him. Oh. It's Elvis. I knew you wouldn't take this seriously. Yeah, I should go. You have a lovely home. Thanks, I'm especially proud of the Situation Room. <laughs> I'll call you later. From a secure line. Before you start, let me just say... What, lie again? What do you mean, lie? You lied to me. You said she was your girlfriend. No, you said she was my girlfriend, and I agreed with you. So technically, you lied to you. You know, maybe we should take all your different statements and line them up on a color-coded map on a wall and see if we can locate the truth. I mean, I don't know what to believe anymore. Did you really ever want to see Marley and me? <laughs> well, I... I like Owen Wilson, all right? And Jennifer Aniston is very sweet. I don't care if she's sweet, okay? I'm sweet, too. And you took advantage of my sweet nature. <gasps> Did you embed yourself in my house to look for Lewis under the guise of being my nanny? What? Are you not? This started three days ago. So you say. I spent a little bit of my own time trying to track down this schmuck so I could bring him to justice so he can clear my name. I think that's worth a few lunch hours. Uh, it's more than just lunch hours, Joe. It's creeping into all the hours, okay? It's taking over. Are you saying that I'm not doing my job? I'm moments away from saying it. Oh, and here it comes. You're not doing your job. How do you figure that? You didn't even notice that a bully took Ryder's sneakers. Oh, I totally knew that. Wait a minute, what? I thought he lost them. Pay attention, okay? So many interesting things are happening right above your head while you're down here playing Where's Waldo? Uh, why couldn't you just have been having sex with your cousin? <laughs> Morning. Want some breakfast? Breakfast? Interesting cover, Joe. If it is, in fact, Joe. Breakfast. Cereal. Cereal. So quick, before he comes down, did you find out anything about Ryder? He's trying out for cheerleader. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I signed him up. <laughs> okay, focus, Lennox. Did you notice anything? Oh, yeah, huge. Okay, so Tammy LeBron said she was out sick with mono, but I could totally tell. She got a nose job. <laughs> Why don't you let me try talking to him, all right? Sort of a little man-to-man -man thing. Here. Gosh, I mean, can you handle it? You know, with your basement mission and all? Don't let the bad guys get away, because the free world is counting on you. Ah, sarcasm. It's really part of a complete breakfast. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? You ready? Where's all your backpack? Uh, I kind of lost it. You lost it? What, the same way that you lost your uh, shoes? When? A couple days ago. Come on, Joe, you're not going to show up in your bathrobe and make a big deal out of this, too, are you? <laughs> All right, let's move it. Hey, Ryder, you forgot your notebook. Hey, where's your new backpack? In the washing machine. I know, it's brand new and already filthy. See, this is why we can't have nice things. Let's go. Let's go. Burke, you are gonna love me. Why, are you suddenly made of cookie dough? All right, fine, you're gonna love what I did. Hey, Ryder, I got your shoes back, buddy. You did? How did you do that? Back to the basics. Good old-fashioned steak out at the high school. 15 minutes in, right into the kid wearing these, right? Went up to him, of course, he denied it. Almost got a little ugly, but, um, you know, I could be kind of intimidating when I want to be. Ooh, yeah. Very scary, especially with those long eyelashes. I'm also working on getting his backpack, too. Backpack? You said it was in the wash. All right, this time I intentionally did not tell you the truth, but that was only so that you would trust me. 
Oh, so to win my trust back, you lied? Yes, I lied. But that's the truth. <laughs> hey, here you go, buddy. Sweet, check it out. But where'd these come from? Huh, you don't need to thank me. No, but... Just we... go put them on. Go ahead. Go. <laughs> you, however, need to thank me. Well, you know, it's not exactly how I would have done it, and uh, it was kind of crazy, and obviously nobody asked you wow, to Wow, you're it. really awful at this complimenting people stuff, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you, Joe. You really came through this time. Yes, I did. I just made everything right. <laughs> These aren't my sneakers. <laughs> of course they are. I just made everything right. Uh, except this time. These are somebody else's. Good going, Joe. You mugged a kid. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. No, he was a bully. I mean, six feet tall. Uh, kind of heavy set, three o'clock shadow. Brandon Melansky? Terrific. He's a senior for the second time. Excuse me while I go online and change my status to dead. You know, I think I know why this happened. Instead of looking after Ryder, you were too busy looking for his father. You know, you're, you're not focused. You're distracted. I am not. Okay, you know what? I don't even care anymore. I'm not even gonna get this. See? Over it. Not answering it. It's Tessa. I gotta take that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello. Tessa, slow down. Slow down. Are you sure that he's in Bahrain? Damn it. How is Lewis moving so fast? Hold up. Wait a minute. It's him. No, not Lewis. The kid that took Ryder's backpack. Listen, I have to call you right back, okay? Bye. What is it, Longo? I think I just found our bully. Oh, well, do me a little favor and uh, measure his shoe size before you tase him. <laughs> Sherry, he's out in the driveway. I need you to take a look. See that kid? Oh, yeah. That's Ryder's backpack. It's got that reflective stripe. Oh, let's get him. Yep. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. That's hard. What do you got in there? <laughs> work out. Yeah, well, you can stop, because you're done. <laughs> let's go take him down. Hold on, hold on a minute, training day. There's a lot of backpacks that look just like that. Yeah, but he's got Ryder's sneakers. There's a lot of sneakers that look just like that, too. Look, this is all circumstantial until we see some actual bullying. Well, so you just want to sit up here and wait until Ryder's down to his tidy whities You want to lose the collar? Go right ahead. I'm playing this one by the book. Ryder just gave the kid the scooter. Move it, move it. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. What? So when I wanted to go with the sneakers in the backpack, that wasn't enough. But now there's a scooter, so now we can go? Yeah. Okay. All right, move it. Why are you Don't forget the shoes. There's no time for shoes. Let's go. <clears throat> What's going on here, Phyllis? Nothing. Sure. What's your name, Mr. Nothing Doer? Uh, I'm Isaac. Yeah, he's my friend from school. Ah, did you hear that, Joe? His friend from school, Isaac. Yeah, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Might I have asked your friend a couple of questions? You have a very long eyelash, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, what do you just... All right, cut the crap, Isaac. Where'd you get the backpack? I got it from Ryder. Ryder, huh? What about the uh, sneakers? Ryder. Ryder. You seeing a pattern here, Burke? Yeah, Longo, I'm seeing a pattern. Big pattern. <laughs> Listen, I can explain. I think I get it. Oh, you get it. Yeah. Listen, kid. You can't just take stuff that doesn't belong to you, all right? And leave an innocent person. No backpack, no, no, no. no sneakers, no, no, no job, no money, no Porsche. Joe, you sick. Not what? about you. Right. The jig's up, kid. You're busted. Take it off. Let's go. No, one's Everything. here. Take it. Yeah. Take uh -huh. it off. Uh huh. And the shoes. You people go. are crazy. Get out of here. No, no, Isaac, I'm sorry. Thanks a lot. What are you mad at us for? Yeah, he just took all your stuff. No, we didn't. I gave it to him. Isaac's parents invested their life savings with my dad, then he runs off with everything and ruins their lives. Thanks a lot. I think we just played bad cop, worst cop. Well, you're worst cop. I only bullied one innocent kid. You bullied two. I just dug myself a pretty big hole here. Mind if I go take a shot at talking to him? Go for it. I'm gonna try to catch Isaac and apologize. It shouldn't be hard. The kid doesn't have any shoes. <laughs> Neither do I. Here, just use these. Hey, what are you uh, doing? Giving all my stuff to Isaac. Really? 
Wouldn't it be easier to just leave all your stuff here and let Isaac move in? <laughs> Giving away your stuff is very generous, man, but it's not gonna fix the mess your dad made. So who is gonna fix it? Hopefully your dad will. Maybe nobody will fix it. You know, sometimes things don't get fixed. So my dad just gets away with it. That's not fair. Aren't you mad at him? <laughs> Am I mad? I nicknamed my ulcer Lewis. <laughs> Look, believe it or not, I know how you feel. This whole thing is consuming you. You just, you have to try to get past it. How? How? I'll tell you how. I have no idea. <laughs> but I, I don't think giving away your basketball is gonna make you feel any better. I really like that basketball. Well, you should keep it. Just move on with your life. Easy for you to say. Actually, it's not. As hard as it is for you, you're just gonna have to let this thing go. Do me a favor. Just take a deep breath, put all this stuff back, and I promise you, tomorrow will be a little bit better than it is today. Trust me, there are many more fun and interesting things out there to get obsessed about. Like sports, video games. What's sex? One of my favorites. <laughs> hey. Give all your stuff away there either. Not gonna happen to me. Yeah, you'll be the one guy that gets out alive. <laughs>